here we are. With Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition, completely reworked and remastered and refurbished and upgraded version of Mass Effect. So this should be interesting. I've played, I think, an hour of Mass Effect once upon a time when we did, uh, back in the days, the classic Mondays. And the microphone's on, yeah. And uh, <laughs> just checking last time it wasn't. And yes. So the Legendary Edition is out. It's part of EA Pro, which is great. So I was able to install it last night. And we're going to have a look and see. Now, we might not continue with it for very much afterwards. It really depends how people want to see it or not. But Mass Effect 1, even after all the work has gone in, is actually the least... It's still a little bit clunky, that's what I mean to say. But that's because it was the hardest to upgrade um, version. KYE, how are you? Um, yeah, very sudden start. We just started. Boom. <laughs> so I'm going to have to turn down the volume. Oh, it actually adjusts the volume afterwards. Because I actually went in already just to turn down the volume a little bit of the music and everything. But hopefully the volume will be good. Fate, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the two pounds. Been getting into RE8 videos, what a game. Oh, it is insanity. It's I really enjoy the difference in RE8, how the bosses are not all the same, that like they take your weapons away in one, which I actually found in the end quite nice because it was a different way of playing the game. Um the other one, you know, was the big weapons and yeah, it's it's definitely um has a lot of variety. But enjoying it very much. Alright, now. Start a new career. Now, Welcome what, they have... to Alliance Military Database. Yes, ma'am. Classified information requested. Oh, yes, baby. Establishing secure connection. Susan, secure I like your voice. Secure connection confirmed. Never played Mass Fix and trying to decide what this game was. Well, uh, I, I, am, you, I, I pay for EA Pro every month, so it's part of EA Pro which is like Xbox Live or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I don't have to pay for it. Well, I pay for it in a different way, I guess. But um, the $60 you spend, you get the completely redone. And it's not just a remaster. You get uh, the completely reworked Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. Now, Mass Effect 1 still is the clunkiest looking and feeling of all three of them. But that's because it's the oldest and it had the most work to be done. And uh, they found it very, very difficult, like, you know, in a lot of areas. But Mass Effect 2 and 3 apparently have been amazingly upgraded. So, um... Thero, how are you? Love you, Keeps me cheerful. Many thanks. Well, that's great. You always have to be cheerful. Well, you don't always have to be. But even on a shitty day, we have to try to find something that makes us feel good about ourselves. Mass Effect is legit my favorite game. Yeah, I never really got into it at the time because it was so old. Um, but we're going to see and we're going to have a look. So, I don't know. I usually play... I like to play the girls, though. Not for any obscene reason. It's just, um, you know, I, it's different. Because everybody plays John Shepard, you know. So, I usually play... Yeah, I'm going to go full-on fighter combat. Combat. Please log in to access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. We, we, we're going to assume she's going to die a lot, so she's going to be named Charlie. Okay, Earthborn, Reputation, Soul, Survivor, Class, Soldier. Mm. Yes. Identification confirmed. Yeah, we're going to play casual because I don't know how... Uh, like, Mass Effect 2, if we're going to try that, I will up the difficulty... <clears throat> I was actually going through some videos of reviews and they were recommending to kind of go casual uh, if you want to get just through the story of Mass Effect 1 because functionally it's still a bit clunky. So I don't want to get too frustrated. We can up it. I think we can up it during the game, like, you know, if you feel it's too easy. Um, I want to level up manually because I don't know exactly how it works. Now, level scaling has changed, yeah? They're saying in the classic mode you had originals levels 1 to 60 and um, instead of the new... Oh, yeah, and now it's 1 to 30. I don't know why they did this. I have no idea. But they're saying that the XP and talent points progression remains the same. So, basically, I guess every second... Uh, sorry, every second level you get, like... I, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave all this the way it is, and um, we're gonna go. Anyway, welcome to stream, everybody. Lady Peach, how are you? Alexis Diamond, ooh, ooh. We're gonna do well, camera what about this. Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. The Discord announcement is automatic fade. It sometimes it just takes a minute. It's it's fine. Because if you do it now, then it will be done again. In the year 2148, I don't know if we have time to read it. Explorers and must discovered the remains of an ancient space of civilization in the decades that followed. This mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the stars. <gasps> Mass effects. Ooh, the music is so loud, but I turned it down. Why is it so loud anyway? The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating Thank transmission you, sequence. Commander? Calculating transit mass and destination. I mean, this must be way too loud. You can't even hear me anymore, yeah? The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Todd, you gotta get to Mars! The board is green. Approach run has begun. I actually turned it down already, but the cinematics seem to have their own volume. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Boom! Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. I mean, it's looking Drift. sexy and clean. Just under 1,500k. 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I, I love this guy. guy. <laughs> I love that Nihilus guy! Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, <laughs> specters are trouble. I don't like having him on board. All right, we're going to put paranoid. the face cam back on. You're um, paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. We're going to turn yeah, the volumes all the down in a second. Story, but only an idiot believes the official story. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's be professional. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. The Just eyes are the really creepy, relay, though. Captain. Stealth They're really dead. Engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Ooh. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> you made him mad. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. <laughs> Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right. Press is... Oh, look at that. Mouse movement is okay. It's not too twitchy. It's not too fast. We might have to slow it down a little bit. Um, press escape and open the journal to fill your updated mission objectives. Okay, so let's go into the options first. Now, the sound. You see, I have the music all the way down. That's why I'm not understanding exactly what's happening. So. Sound effects are down, the volume, so we can turn it down a little bit. And hopefully that will, yeah, it's still, I don't think it actually works uh, a lot. 
Let's do it like this and see if that's better. Did you remember it? Yeah, okay. Okay, excellent. Let's go. Kodak Squad Equipment Journal. Uh, it looks so nice and clean. I don't know if it looked like that before. Did you manage to get Subnautica Below Zero? Yes, Subnautica Below Zero is installed. We're gonna play tomorrow. Um, I can turn it down for you guys on uh, OBS. I don't find it too loud. It's fine. I just know from listening to other games we play that this is very loud. So um, I can turn it down. If it's still too loud, let me know and I turn it down a little bit more on the actual OBS client. So nothing to worry about. I'm very excited for Subnautica because this time I have not spoiled it for myself. This time I didn't play it to death. Uh, I actually want to play it now. <laughs> anyway, prologue in the Normandy. Your Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Orders, the SSV Normandy. Okay. Oh, we have manual saves. Well, who who are we if we are not to save the moment we can? Oh yeah, the mouse. I wanted to change the mouse speed. Um, controls, it's mouse sensitivity. Wow. Okay. Why don't you just go all the way up there, right in your face? Haha. <laughs> okay. Invert. No, genie Mac. Um, stick configuration, uh, game uh, camera sensitivity, normal. Yeah, let's just leave it a normal. Leave all that normal, and then we're gonna go from there. Yeah, that is sexy. I love it. It actually feels like it didn't make barely a difference, but we'll see. Oh, oh, shift isn't run. Oh my gosh, I nearly shot somebody in the face. Hold the right mouse button to move the mouse and aim at the target. Left click on a power icon to use it. Left click on a power icon to use it. Oh. <laughs> Shot him in the back. Okay. How do we get rid of our weapon? Whoa, no, we're just changing weapon now. Regroup! Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure why I'm doing this. What is happening? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I thought shift was run. Um, controls. Key bindings. Toggle walk. Right. Left crouch. Space by sprint. What? What is shift then? Change to melee is F. Tactics. Hood. Hold. Last weapon, okay. Scroll up. Holds the weapon, H. Okay, that makes sense. Tactical hood. If there is no tab assigned, can we not just make that tab and shift run? Because that would be really preferred. Yeah, booster, there you go. Jump jet spacebar, yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. But this doesn't make sense to me. Hang on a second. Because I know I'm going to be clicking shift all the time. So, tactical hood, uh, tab. Yeah, and then sprint, where is it? Which is spacebar, who, who designed this? Um, shift, yeah, that's weird. Don't forget to hit the like button, yes. Is this gonna be a video later? Oh yeah, no, it, Alexis, it automatically goes into a video. That's why I'm streaming on YouTube, so that it's automatically there. Look at that, we're even saving a second time. Boom, overriding my last save. I don't care, I'm playing hardcore. I don't care if I saved over my last save. <laughs> okay. Let's be serial. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's okay. crazy. Let me know if the sound is still too loud and I'm turning it down on OBS. Oh crap. I keep pressing F now. What is it, left click? No. Okay, it doesn't matter. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. He looks very nice. Her face is very nice and clean as well. Um, I wouldn't I've know. never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. 
The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason oh, like you didn't tell me about changed. this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, hey, our Sack, ship drives. You? It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. All right, okay, let's Obviously, do this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I'm doing fine, Sack. Thank you. I don't. It doesn't actually matter what we answer. You see, that's the one thing I never explored because we only played the first hour, I think, of Mass Effect uh, One back uh, two years ago or something. Um, this discovery could affect every species in the Council space. So, if I answer something like, like in a selfish way or something, does that have an impact later, or is it just for your own personal like enjoyment? Um, Nathan, if you have EA Pro, it's it's free. Well, it's not free because you're paying for EA Pro, but it's it's you get you're allowed to play it with EA Pro. Um, it matters. Ooh. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. All right. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh, enough for face caressing. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I like it. You're actually a very, very the person that I would like in real life. Very pragmatic. Um, is the background music loud enough? I think I need to tune it up a little bit more. Let me know, because you'll really like it. It's really nice. You support this captain? What's the next step? What if I refuse? No, I wouldn't refuse. I just want to make sure the captain is okay. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. You see, I'm going to answer it like I would I need like to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll oh, be is? in charge of the ground team. That's Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Um, so uh, if we investigate, I'm assuming we're allowed to peruse around the ship. You see, is, is this game all about exploring all the different things? Or is it like, you know, fair enough, you play through the story, uh, you know, I don't know. So yeah, we just say we're ready to go yet. Uh, investigate. Um, oh, investigate is me asking more questions. Oh, okay. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Okay, that's... Fair enough. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. 
It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small See, Todd test. is right. It's all in mass. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, wrong hands, exactly like ours. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. I hope you don't mind me exploring the story a little bit. Because I don't know it, actually. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Alright. Keep it hush-hush. Just between our four faces. Now let's kiss and make up. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden- Captain! We got a problem. Whoa. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Amazing. Big giant hand looking thing. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Oh, he's getting excited. Like your man on Discovery. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. I really love the, the music. It Talalenko actually reminds me... to suit up, Commander. You're uh, going in. In Germany, we had this cartoon when I was a kid, Captain Future, and it had always amazing music. My ringtone on my phone is actually the... the, the Engaging stuff, theme system. song of Captain Future in Germany. Not the American version, the, the German version. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's um, the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. It doesn't matter Good if luck. we like each other. Once we get down there, we've got each other's back. We are approaching drop point two. Um, I don't know if Captain Planet and Captain Future is the same thing. I have no idea. It was called Captain Future in um, America as well, I think. I, I'm not sure. But... Um, the, the the German soundtrack uh, theme song um, for it won Hostiles several awards everywhere. like as well it was really really good use the right mouse button to draw your weapon press H to put it away bam what is if I press both okay I see oh look at that we can blow things up welcome to my new planet it's ours now we're gonna destroy everything <laughs> Okay. Can we... Oh, I love it. We have cover and everything. Oh, this is so sexy. I'm loving this. Okay. It's a bit close. It's a bit close up for me. But I like to have a little more distance on things. 
And oh, we do have a map. Okay, so we, we're going this way around. Is it worth exploring areas? Are there like things oh, you can God. pick up or find? What happened here? Oh, no, these guys are just gonna continue talking. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. I like this. Look at this. Oh, that's their weapon. I can actually make them select different weapons for themselves. Oh, okay. But we have also one, two, three. No, we don't. Um, a dialogue is easy. Upper line is, po is posed. Lower line is negative. Middle line is neutral. In second and third game, it uh, matters more is it Paragon and Renegade. Yeah, I heard about the Ren Renegade and Paragon stuff. Hey, Bonnie, how are you? going on it's happening um i actually had to watch my video back that i played i think it was two years ago i'm not 100 sure where i played an hour of it and it looks so much better and it i, I don't know what it feels like differently i don't remember but it looks really nice oh he was still being an idiot okay we're soldier class which means we are made for fighting do we have to reload? No, we don't. These guys started it all. Medgale is needed to heal injury squ injured squad members. Oh, do I have to heal someone? Can we not just let him die? Because I'd rather have the heal packs for myself. I mean, he's dead. Yeah, the other guy's dead. And he's fully healed, so... Fine. Oh, you see? I don't need to heal. He's full of health. You see, you're amazing. Caden, you're amazing. Okay, which way do we have to go? Do we have to continue this way? Okay. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm okay. gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, don't get yourself killed, man. I don't wanna have to tell your wife the bad news. Six months pregnant, she can't handle it. Use tab to issue orders to your squad, or use Z to attack your target, or QE to send your squad man ahead. Press <laughs> this looks dangerous! Why don't you go here? <laughs> hey, I told you to go here! So this means he's attacking it as well now, yeah? Okay, can you go here? And then... Can you attack this? I wanna see if that works. Oh, this is amazing. He's awesome. Caden, I'm gonna marry you when we survive this. You're amazing. Oh, that's the sun. We can't kill the sun. We can't kill the sun. Oh. They changed mechanics, the, as far as I uh, understand, they changed mechanics in the game and they changed, um, like, quick weapon select. Basically, they're trying to update... Oh! They tried to update all the games to be more, like, modern in the way they behave and work. However, Mass Effect 1 it was the hardest to update, so it's not as advanced as, ma as the Mass Effect 2 and 3 in the Legendary version. What's happening? Oh. Oh, she's on our side, yeah. Okay. Go. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Eh, <laughs> shot you in the left boob. Um, sorry, Ashley, I'm sorry. You okay? Don't want me to kiss it back. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. 
We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. I, I have no idea about romancing in this game, okay? But if the opportunity arises, I'm not gonna be picky. I'm just gonna go with anything that goes. I don't care. I'm gonna be an absolute man of a whore or woman of a whore, whatever I'm gonna play. I don't care. <laughs> what happened to you? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I'm gonna live hard and fast. And that's left. how I'm gonna live my love life. <laughs> don't blame yourself. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why yeah, are they what are you now? talking about? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. <laughs> Call the team, Haran team, anything that walks. I strike so bigger than the universe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the dig site closed just over that rise. It might still be there. Um, will we ask her to come with us, or do we want her to be safe? I mean, she she looks pretty attractive, so we're gonna take we her with us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Oh, ho, ho, I love it. Oh, investigate. Okay, what's what the story? What else do you know about the guests? Sorry, I need to do the investigate because I, I love the story part. Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, Miranda, that, is that the one where they had that big hoo-ha going on about... Um, Nobody's really heard much from them since. Uh, 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 it, having to move the camera away from her ass or something. Is that, is that the one with all the memes? <laughs> Tell me everything you know about the beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. Data I don't know much How about are you? the beacon itself, Yay, but please. I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Okay, we already had the scientists. We don't need to investigate anymore. Oh, Nihilus! Have you seen a Turian specter around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a specter anyway. If you oh, saw this guy, you'd know. Miranda, Mira Miranda's friends were, um... Luckily, he's on tomb, our side. Tomb Raider ones. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. My wife always said when Tomb Raider came out originally, because they, her her shelf was that big, they, she always said, if you turn her upside down, you can use her as a bookshelf. <laughs> Move out! <laughs> Tifa from Final Fantasy. Yeah, holy balls, man. Tifa, eyes up here. Eyes up here. It's my controller, it's not my fault. Uh, press escape to go to the squad screen to spend talent points for new squad members. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, let's let's be serial for a second. Squad, okay. The squad screen lets you review your team's talents. Mouse over the talents or ranks uh, to view it. Click on the talent to spend talent points to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Okay, cool, cool. So I'm gonna play pretty much just weapons, okay? Like medium kind of weapons, not sniper. But, and not close, I'm gonna go all medium. Because I kind of feel I'm gonna get killed a lot with close range. I love shotguns though. Um, but I think assault rifles would be definitely something. And able to equip medium armor, increased damage protection grant. And maybe armor, I'm not sure. Yeah, soldier is more something I'm gonna go for. Oh, charm. Ooh. Charm option conversation will be great out if you do not have a high enough rank. Uh, the skill ranks, yeah, okay, we're gonna definitely have to put one point into here, thank you. And we're gonna put another point into, oh, what is this? Oh, wow. Oh, there's special, um, okay. You can see in damage with assault rifle, grants the overkill ability. Definitely, yeah. Increase damage by 5% and do I have to spend the three points between my... T oh, no, each have their own point. That is amazing. 
And soldier is increase health. By four, regenerate health. Yeah, let's put another point in charm. I think we're going to have some fun with dialogues if that's a possible thing. Um, Caden Alenko. Um, I don't know. Throw? Yeah, sure. Barrier? Oh, barrier. Booster your kinetic shields. And sabotage. Can use decryption skills an easy object. Oh, maybe that's really good. Sentinel. Um, she's gonna die. <laughs> Must be a man controller. Yes, exactly. In doubt, increase DACA. What is DACA? <laughs> what is DACA? Um, yeah, I don't really have a clue. Like, like I said, I never played it really like that, so I don't really know. Um, I'm assuming um, special training allows engineers to use tech and biotech. So, I, if somebody is a hacker or something, it would be great because I believe that would come in handy, maybe. So let's just do this. Oh, rate of fire! Daka daka daka! Yeah. <laughs> and each point spent increases strength and duration of the barrier. Sure. Why not? And oh look at that you look better with your helmet on um ashley williams um what is to make her susceptible to charm is there an option like that um <laughs> uh, okay um she's actually really good she's like also that kind of person so which is good so yeah we're gonna give her a point here an assault rifle as well and soldier as well there we go nice or actually, hang on a sec. Can we go back again? Oh, we can. Can we undo talent points all the time? Or once you're out of the screen, they're set. Increase weapon damage by 1%, by 2%. I know, that's more. Yeah, we're going to go with soldier. There we go. Oh, look at that. It actually puts five points in. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Renegade. There is an outer level system too if you don't want to micromanage. Yeah, I probably will use the the outer level system for the um, for, for for the cannon fodder. <laughs> oh, we can save. New save. Save 400. New achievement unlocked. Okay. Can we shoot these? Okay. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Oh. Move to the edge of the cover and press left mouse button to fire, hold... Oh, okay. I'm continuously trying to press space. I'm so used to it. Approaching a low object will make it crouch. Yeah. Now, Commander. Why can I not go into... Whoa! Where did you throw that? dead yeah the controls are a bit wonky all right but uh, it's still very good I mean this is the oldest of the mass effect and they were actually saying they, they had the hardest time upgrading the, the feel and everything and the controls on this one what is this Oh, how do you engage with things? Do you just walk on them? Let me just go in the controls again quickly. Um, how do I, like, you know, the E or Fing it, even Eing it or Fing it? Let's see. Equipment is I, general quick save, quick load, shoot, aim, melee, interact. Where's interact? There is no interact. Yeah, there is no interact. That's weird. 
effort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still intact. It's intact. Okay, now where do we have to go? Okay, we have to go over here somewhere. There. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. No, running is shift, um, but the action will interact. Oh. Okay. Oh, you press G again to detonate. Okay. Um, hard to say. Uh, maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Journal is updated. Prologue. Okay. Dig site. Great. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Okay. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I don't know if there's anything such as like, uh, uh, like a small spaceport. Um, we are going in the right direction, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at that. We can place the... Oh, look at that. Do we see it? We do. We go in the wrong direction. I knew it. Oh, Death Star oh, doesn't God. fit in. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They gave them powers. They should be grateful. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm assuming headshots are still gonna count more. Oh yeah, shift. Oh, it's recover items. Medium armor. Ooh, light armor. Reduce to Omni Jail. No, we're gonna take. Uh, can we wear it? Oh, let's take it all. Okay, this was an omni jail and a currency or something. I have no idea. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. Okay. So when I'm not aiming, the camera is fine. But when I'm aiming down the side, it's a bit fast. So I might have to change that. Saren. Oh, I remember that, yeah. The trading bastard. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. Don't trust him! I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Son of a gun. Oh, there's something else here, actually. I didn't check that out. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Oh, my balls. What do I have to do? I didn't know, I didn't know what I was trying to do. Humans, oh. thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. What's wrong with you? What are you doing here? 
I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. And you won't believe Gary is trying to hit on me the whole time. The and Gary when the attack came, the doesn't Marines get the message. Them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What is your name? Slither. It has to be Slither. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second, uh, we Caden had decryption, yeah. The next, we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then Sorry for the inconvenience. Quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. No, that's not Nihilus. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. <laughs> Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, oh. please. This isn't the time. <laughs> this isn't the time for you to go weird. I told you, you will get your treat later. <laughs> What's wrong with your assistant? Yeah, Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No, no that's called paranoia. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Ugh. Oh my god! What did you do? <laughs> that might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. <laughs> I didn't know that you would do that. I <laughs> just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, I the suppose you're right. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Williams, oh, well. take us to the spaceport. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. It's like, I, I'm the only sane one left. Now let me peel off your skin of your face and let me wear it for my protection. It will give me a plus two defensive bonus. Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. <laughs> Title of a tape. Anyway, um, let me see what do we got. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so sometimes the camera is a little bit fast. So let me just fix this quickly. And also let me tune up this a little bit more. And then the controls, the sensitivity. Put it down to about, I don't know, like here. But that's the mouse sensitivity in general. Combat and exploration camera sensitivity. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So these are crates, then I didn't realize that shift was... Yeah, oh man. Sniper rifle, great. So can we actually give my people these uh, weapons? Um, the equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter the filter tab to switch item types. Select an item and click the equip button to assign it. Okay. So assault rifles, we have none. We have no shotguns, we have no pistols. Oh, there we go. We have sniper rifles. I wouldn't mind trying out a sniper rifle, actually. Yeah, sure. I'm going to take this one here. Oh, look at that. Or whatever that is. I have no idea what I'm looking at, by the way. Okay. And what is that? Grenades and armor. Oh, yeah. Medium armor. What, what armor am I wearing right now, actually? Can I... Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, this is also medium. Yeah, well, in that case... Oh, this is what I currently have, and this... Okay, okay, okay. 
So, I like the way my armor actually looks, but we're gonna have to go with stats here, do we? Nah, you know what? It's not that much of an increase. We're still gonna try to prefer to look sexy instead. What is this, though? Okay, I don't know. This is obviously some... I don't know. I wouldn't mind actually trying the sniper rifle, though. Oh, my sniper rifle. Actually, I had one already, but it had a smaller heatsink. So, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. There we go. Oh, nice. Come on. In the penis. So what is this blue line? Um, it looks like she has a blue line down. So is that just her shield, yeah? So I'm assuming her shield is gonna refresh automatically. Oh, look at this. So here we can tell Caden to throw or create a barrier. Oh, that is nice. I love it. So if I do this, we'll do it again. No, okay. Anyway, I'm getting to know everything. So there's another uh, door over there. Oh, crap. Speak the boat. There we go. Thank you. I love that. Um, okay, let's see what we have here. Begin manual override. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Just don't Those be weird. I'm gonna all smack the you. Shit. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. Wasn't there four of you when you got up in right there? before the attack. <laughs> Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. Lucian, welcome we to stream. How are you? One violet, how are you? I missed a couple of, of people. Crew. Deep claw, welcome they to stream. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Could have, would have, should have. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? We've got a wise guy. I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise call. That oh, awful sorry, noise. we did that already. It was sorry. Some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. shriek okay. of the damned. Only. I have to go. Hey, Cole, <laughs> sorry, we're just, just cut you off there. Have Jeez, to go. Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. 
I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. <laughs> Is he worth dying for? He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, they're dead anyway. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> his name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I shall look him up later. I have to go. Good luck. Oh, look at that. We got the Stinger pistol and a weapon upgrade. Okay, so how do the weapon upgrades work? So I'm. we're going to be mainly using our rifle here, yeah? Is she using the pistol now? Oh, so she switches to the weapon that you actually have here. Okay, I get it. Okay, so the assault rifle is the Lancer and weapon upgrade mod, a combat sensor. Some enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. The combat scanner upgrade improves detection levels, making these enemy enemies visible. Hell yeah, thank you. Okay. I don't know what happened to your fourth member, but it's okay. Let's see, is there any loot in here? Oh, why can I not loot that? Hmm. Oh, my electronic skill is too low. Oh, do we have somebody that we can upgrade? Um, sorry, no, what, what am I looking for? Oh, there's we have loads of points here. Hang on a second. I mean, we can make... Oh, why can we not make him an electronics guy? Why not? Required decryption four. Okay. Why can I not go higher? Oh, it costs more more than one point. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, her, we're gonna go and let her outer level. Oh, yeah, I like how you outer level, baby. And let's see if we can do that. Yes! Loads of things. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Uh, see your VIP. What is happening? Uh, not liking this. Bye. See you on Resident Evil Part 5. Yes, we're going to be back with Resident Evil soon. So, left a like. Though. Thank you so much, VIP. Very much appreciated. And absolutely understand. It's, uh, not everything is for everybody. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be with Subnautica, which is going to be scary, creepy as well. But also survival, which is good. Um, okay. So let's let's take our um, assault rifle out, actually, just in case we get into close Commander, combat here. Oh, it's Linus. Yeah, hang on, I know, but we have to loot here first. Li Linus will still be dead in a second. <laughs> Linus, Nihilus. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. We thought this world was safe until the Geth showed up. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? Oh, I love it. I am sorry. Damn. I was hiding from those creatures. It's like pow, My name's right pow. in the face. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. 60 I, hours of gameplay, holy shit. Each... I don't think we're gonna be finishing that. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Not in the back of the foreface. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. <laughs> I like the way Shepard stares and thinks about shooting the guy. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. 
First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. Hang on, Powell! They killed everyone. He's the smuggler. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those I think, grenades. I, I think me and her have to go and agree and have angry sex. Farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Mm-hmm. You should make amends. Here's a gun. Do what's best. Uh, investigate. You're gonna be our lead. Go ahead. Attack. Yeah, I don't think we need to ask the same thing, do we? Tell me I about mean, the Geth attack. It was quick. Yeah, One minute, I think, I think we don't need to really minutes. ask it from everybody. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. <laughs> I pushed them out! I, I was already behind the crates <laughs> when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <laughs> she really hates him. She wants to shoot him. I can just see it. She's like grinding her teeth with her hand on her gun. You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. Hey, Crimson, what was I how supposed are you? to do? Run out there and die? Yes! I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Okay, I'm not gonna ask everything else. It's it's fine. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Later Take on, definitely, when train. we have to That's investigate where the more, but went. I think this is pretty straightforward. We'll go to I the beacon. Like... I need to get away from all this. Oh, do you need to have a nap? Do you need to have a nap? Can I bitch slap you as well? <laughs> Where's he gone? And shoot you right in the back of the foreface. It used to be beautiful here. Oh. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Genie, Mac. Oh, I can see them on the radar. Yes, it works. Oh, he's up there, is he? Oh, I don't see him. Oh, he's maybe below us. Hold tab to bring up the power wheel. The power wheel lets you use the powers and special abilities of your squad. Okay, it's not a wheel really anymore. It's um, so cadence throw allows you to throw enemies and objects using a mass effect field. Oh, I like it. Adds a biotic barrier to your shield that absorbs damage. You cannot block attacks, but that bypass the shields, but cannot block attacks that bypass shields. Overheat nearby enemy weapons and burn them for minor damage. Oh, nice. Damages enemy's shields with a certain radius. And she has, allows a long burst. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I think we need that shield. And can you attack these guys? The AI is not very good. Can we loot him? He looks like he's gonna have some good stuff. Oh, 
Oh, we can shoot it. That's why it was probably lighting up. Oh, he disappeared. Is this where we have to go, actually? Let me see. Oh, but that there is something, though. Oh! That moves! That is amazing! Oh, that's something fast to pick up. Oh, we got the med jail, okay. I smacked him through the barrier. Nice. I love it. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. I think I missed a whole area then in the back there. Shit. I thought this Set was the a charges. Secret. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. He's going all. He's gotten all waifu with that beacon. <laughs> Sorry, this is a restricted area. You, you may not follow through here. I like my sniper rifle actually. It's pretty much one shot. I love it. Okay, do we shoot these? No. Oh, we have to disarm them or something, is it? Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Okay, I got it. Oh, we have to go up there. Okay, sorry. Can you guys do me a favor and get up there? Look at that, disarming it with my back, with my buttocks. Come on, butt cheeks, thunder fury. So, upgrades, so, oh, okay take all so let me see armor I have medium armor and if I go to Caden Caden is currently wearing um, light armor I don't think he can wear actually anything else and this one is slightly better but it doesn't have as much biotic protection it has more shield you see I don't know how much biotic protection we need attack protection we need so yeah, sure. Let's... Oh, he looking fine. Look at that. That's not gonna get dirty at all. Um, Gladiator 2. Onyx. Uh, Gladiator 2. It's definitely an improvement, so take it. And then use your assault rifle. We don't have any other assault rifle. Caden is also um, using assault rifle. This pistol is slightly stronger. He probably should use the pistol. That's the same one, yeah. An Omni tool. Okay. It's Laris. Okay, what does Ashley have in special things? She doesn't. She's like me. She's a soldier. She doesn't care. 
Alright, okay, upgrade my pistol for whatever it's worth, I guess. And then can we omni gel that stuff? If I click it and omni gel it. So if I say omni gel, um, hang on a second, somebody else needs an upgrade here. Um, you're gonna need an upgrade, sure. There you go. Take the hammer, and you can take the reaper. So if I say now omni gel, but say all the junk. Oh, that's just junk. I don't know what junk is. Okay. Advanced disarmament tech with the future, yes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, if the music if the music gets claimed, I have no idea. I saw plenty of streams with the with the wizard on, but um, it depends. We have shooters. Hang on a second. What are you shooting? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I like the way I can one shot them with my fist, but I can't actually hurt them with the um, weapon. Okay, wrong side. I cannot disarm it. Ah, here we go. Can I aim at somebody else for the grenade? Okay. Assault rifle, nice. Let me see the new assault rifle, baby. It does more damage. Accuracy is a little bit lower, but we're manually accurating, so it's okay. Yes, oh, I love it. We keep the um, upgrades and everything. Okay, let me see. Oh, nice, a sexy beast. Okay, hang on a second. What about over there? Is there anything over there? So, oh, okay, so we can, there's something here, the beacon is here, so, let's go up here, I guess. Oh, there's nothing here. Gonna have to go. Alexis Diamond, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I, I'll try to be back as soon as I'm able. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much for showing up, though. And uh, wherever you have to go, I hope it's uh, you're gonna have a good day, evening, morning. Nice. So where to now? So if the beacon is here, we have to get up there. Which means you're gonna have to go back up to the stairs or something, is it? Oh, the beacon is right there in front of me. I'm an idiot. I, I imagine it to be bigger. I 
I really thought it would have been gigantic, but okay. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Oh, Baumkuchen, I Something love it. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Mornkuchen is my favorite uh, of these type of things. And Black Forest Scatter is my full-time favorite thing. Oh, he's expandable! He's not important! He's not even good-looking! It's okay! Let him die! Gonna go. That was amazing. Her hair all over the place. It's like best ever. <laughs> it's like let's do that again. Oh, here we go. There's the tentacle hand. It looks weird. It looks like a squid. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. Sorry, the your Normandy, face is up there, okay. A human alliance vessel. <laughs> it was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I like the way she just semi-dodges. She doesn't care. Diana Troy, is it? Eliminated. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I like Diana Troy. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Yeah, you were careless. <laughs> no, it was, I don't care. That, you had fine. no way to know what would happen. Actually, it doesn't we don't mean even we're going to get together. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. I know her the voice as well from somewhere. The system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated yeah, with Kate, intense put your helmet dreaming. On. <laughs> um, not a dream, it was a vision, I think. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. You're already a mess. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. Yeah, I think so too. to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Totally. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. 
But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed? Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just We're not going to tell him about any vision. I had some kind of oh, okay. vision. A vision? A vision of what? I actually don't know, so I don't know. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Sarens just need to get laid. Is that what you're saying, Bonnie? <laughs> it's like, Saren, we have all the guns pointed at you. We need you to get laid right now. And get all that frustration out of your system. <laughs> uh, we need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Um... What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. <laughs> Captain Anderson has a secret move from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command. He won't stop. Sure, yeah. I'll stop him. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Yeah, you don't like talking to Joker. <laughs> okay, so, prologue. It's still a prologue. Oh, my balls. Speak to Joker. Okay. Do you know what we haven't done in a while? Safe. You, you, sure, I'll stop him after I get my coffee. <laughs> Is there any loot? No. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yeah, don't worry about it. Your voice is very familiar. Anyway, where do we have to go? Um... Oh, okay. Debris surveyed transitioning destination squad members. Ashley, Shepard, Caden. Oh, yeah, what's the story with Ashley? Ah, no, didn't want to do that. Oh, that's what she looks like out of uniform. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Soldiers die. <laughs> Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. So, how's it going? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> she says that so creepily. You fit in here just fine. 
Okay, so let's see. Um, sleeping pods. <laughs> um, anomaly. Okay, so what? Where do we have to go right now? What's the What's the story? Um, Joker. Yes. So we have to go to the front of the ship, don't we? Okay. So we have to go the other way. Yeah, I think the... Oh, what is this? Can I play with the... The codex? Oh, okay. I didn't know what that was. I just randomly picked it up. <laughs> I thought I can play with any of them. Let's see. Is there more here? Whatever that was. Okay. There's still a point of... Oh, this is where we have to go. I thought it was a point of interest. Oh, it is a point of interest. Only the commanding officer may specify a destination on the Normandy. Okay. It can get weird. It's not creepy. It's just the facial expressions or the eyes. It can get weird. Like Nicolas Cage level of weird facial expressions. Yeah. I've seen actually Ghost Rider again uh, last weekend. It came onto Netflix. Great movie. I love it. It's very tacky or whatever, but it's, it's great. What is that? Oh, another codex. What is all these codexes I find? What are, what is it? What are these codexes? Oh, codex. Oh, so they're little story points uh, things. Okay. I get it. Oh, we went the wrong way. Hang on. Huh? Okay, is it all the way over there then? Yeah, there we go. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Yeah, I like Nicolas Cage films, like, um, n not the one where it's all serious, I like all the, the other stuff. I like the one where it was like Indiana Jones or something, where he had to get that magic book or something, I don't know, that was really good. I enjoy these type of things. When I say really good, I don't mean like, wow, five star, oh, hello, holy balls on a cracker. Space flower. Ship. Yeah, I like the rock as well. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying <laughs> you need firepower too. Ha ha ha! Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Anyway, Moff Melsa, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whichever it may be. Oh, is it Seth Green? Nice. Yeah, I like Seth Green. Without a Paddle is one of my favorite movies with him. Uh, this Creek is an a outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth it's attacked what, a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue spectre. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. 
<laughs> yeah, abort Captain the fetal Anderson, position. That was so hilarious. I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground if a bear attacks you, just curl up in fetal in position. It will questions. not harm you. I have the mission <laughs> reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. I actually Sounds had national like treasure. That's what it was. Yeah, I enjoyed them. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. Oh, you changed the armor. council okay. has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done Austin more than Powers enough to great. jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Me too. Important locations are marked on your map. Press M to access it. Okay. All right. Okay. I have to go straight and then left and then left again. Okay. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep doing that to close the map. In Resident Evil, we right click to close the map. Oh, I can't go straight. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. <gasps> oh. Alliance patrol robot. Captain Hendrickson reports some unusual energy readings during a patrol uh, of the Argus Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a re recon team? Okay. Let's head downstairs. <laughs> Welcome to the Presidium. Allow Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout Hi, this Cortana. level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals. Should so you you're basically assistance. Susan. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races. Along I love with the way she looks around. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. Right. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade Next and establish a Karen. standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some oh, it's species your species. felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. 
In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species to oh, in the early years that. Sorry, followed sorry, they, sorry. in recognition of their work to expand um, interstellar trade and establish a Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary oh, okay. role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal One of them didn't channels. read the handbook. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Okay, so now, where do we have to go? Use the Citadel Rapid Transition to travel quickly between major locations as you explore the Citadel more locations will unlock. Okay. But, um, sorry. Go to the tower. In the, on the Presidium for an audience with the Council. Okay, the tower. Did she say it was over there or over here? I don't remember. Can we go to the tower here? Oh! Yeah, is that not where we want to go? There we go. The synchronization is amazing, guys. We worked on this so hard. I mean, look at this. We trained so hard. Bam. Uh, you, you see, you were a bit slow there, you know, Caden. But Williams, as always, very proud of you. Very good. Very quick of the mark. Yeah, gotta go with Williams. Sorry, Caden. Nothing personal. It's just the way it is. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Um, okay. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security. Is my Palin boss. always a bad he guy's name? my findings on Saren to the council. Nick, how are you? No Russian. <laughs> Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe yeah, they'll like listen him. to you. You don't like his the attitude. All right, fine. You're not much of a talker. Is that a herb over there? Can we can we make some healing healing materials with that? It's the wrong game. Why, hello there. Look at you. Okay, so. Hmm. Oh wow. Oh, we can't shoot it. It, it looks dangerous. <laughs> Creepy AF, man. Okay, um, where do we have to go now? Um, up there. Okay, ah, keep mm. right clicking. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've ah. read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. 
Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's whoa, whoa, whoa. admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Um, you see, I don't want to get the other guys pit up, pissed off. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Can you find lightsabers? That would be awesome. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. A spy who specialized to go places and leave no evidence was it somewhere, and there was no evidence. Well, we saw him arguing with the executor. <laughs> well, if it was That's clean. right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. 
The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in Kenny, CSEC now you? to stop protecting him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his <laughs> share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. Yeah, it sounds like the typical hero next movie. Without. Absolutely right, yeah. Okay, um... Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. How are you? I'm fine. Doesn't Thanks for asking, in Kenny. Politics. I hope you're well. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Getting whipped. All right, okay, so we have um, two places, I guess, to go. Let me see, can we go different levels? No, okay. So, let's have a look. That's our overarching mission. And then we have to speak to Harkin and we have to go see Barla Vaughn. Okay. Go to the Korra's den in the lower wards and speak with Harkin. Korra, den in the lower wards. Okay, let's go downstairs. Can we take the shortcut? No. <laughs> Guy's up to something. What guy? What? Oh no, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Well, you're looking at his dingalings. Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know. Oh, what I, I saw. love Ashley. Oh uh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Is that like quests? I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. Maybe he's guess. a terrorist. It's who knows? It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have. After I clear myself. the problem of human so long, extinction, I will be and right good on luck that. With the scanning. <laughs> so, how do we scan it? Oh, cool. We actually got money. I don't even know what money is for yet exactly. Are you want oh no you're not that angry girl that just told us that we are not able to do things so how do i figure out now where things are so it says to the lower levels council of chambers there's nothing here so i guess we're gonna have to go downstairs so how do i know where the den is like there's absolutely no navigation system in this game which is fine i guess but it just means we could be walking into the wrong direction for a while before I realize it's the wrong direction. <laughs> if 
to presume this elevator leads down to the presidium there will you find the embassy citadel tower the emporium the bank and the consort chambers behind you is the citadel tower the con okay yeah okay is that the right one or could we have gone here no okay surprise attack oh you guys are amazing Williams, as always, you're on spot on. And Caden, very disappointed. Always, always slow. Always slow. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren is one of their best operatives. It's only natural they've taken his word over ours. Yeah, that's it. Did you oh, see the keeper, so you just click on it. Leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Pink Panther, yes! I love it. Oh man, I used to love them with my dad all the time, the Pink Panthers. Oh man, they're so funny. How how you completely destroyed his apartment Look at every that time. Bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. It's okay, I already scanned its ass. Ha! Mine now, Susan. Okay. Where do we go? I have no idea. Um So that's a point of interest. Oh, there's the bank. Here's a point of interest. Where's the den? Udan's office, CSEC HQ, Embassy Lounge. Important. So, consort chambers. So he's in the financial district, and he is in the lower wards. So is that further down? Lower wards. So it must be down here. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out oh, undesirables. Oh, you're, you're leaving. It All right, the front and off, loving the way it's stood. The Look forward to too Below Zero. Bye, all. See you later. Thanks so much again for, for popping in. And the Citadel is too important to become a battleground for religious wars, I suppose, but freedom of speech and all that, I guess. Um... But yeah, I guess, in a, in a way, if everybody would uh, be spewing their own nonsense, like, it would be kind of probably creating a lot of friction between people. Um. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I why did I say I help? So 
So he's saying, so he's a technical loophole here. He's saying, I'm not preaching, I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> I got to run, I have gone and replaced the rotor and brakes. Yeah, thank you so much, Kenny, for being here. And um, I hope everything works out with the brakes on the truck. See you later. Bye bye. Um, this isn't the way. Oh, man. Yeah, you have to be easy saving humanity. Okay. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. Uh, let's see where this, this goes, okay? I'm, most actually, grateful for the I'm interested in, in actually how they're gonna do that with the quest. progress with that Hanar? I think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchase the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Oh, sorry, wrong action. No. <laughs> Has oh, the CSEC officer Ooh. been assuaged? Um. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. Ah, balls. Do I have that? 150 credits. This should cover you. Oh, I had it. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I don't know. You better give me everlasting life in return or something. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Oh, what do we get? Oh, we got experience. Okay, cool. So, I'm assuming... Oh, to the wards. Yes, we have to go downstairs. That's right. Do you know what we haven't done in a while? Save. Hey, do I get actually... Um, I don't really see if I level up or anything. Let me let me check my squad here. Um, <laughs> um, well, I have six points. Um, I definitely I do like the sniper and the rifle. I do like that. So I'm gonna be going up a little bit more. So how come I can't go up any higher? What is this? Yeah, I like that. And then we're gonna go with... Oh, increase hardening by 10%. Oh man, this, this cannot be misunderstood at all. Um, yeah, and let's go with Charm. You have one more point left. I want you to spend it here on these things, so... I'm gonna keep them for now. And you already used everything up. Okay. Oh, level limited, I believe. Okay. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. 
Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that I love these little things in between. Case. It's great. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that we human need time, otherwise will we don't be get adequately late. protected. Maybe the end boss can be fought with sexy time. You just do it like in Austin Powers. You're gonna invite him to your bedroom and put chicken all over you. And you're like, I'm so sexy. I'm so sexy. <laughs> oh, I love this movie so much. Uh, all of them. Anyway. Do you really think we'll find him down here? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let me see. Where's the bar? The bar of horse. Well, there's a nightclub, so I'm assuming that it's gonna be down there. Oh. No, we came from there. Yeah, okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to go down there. This is the horizontal mambo, yeah. Oh, hello there. Hey guys, don't be doing anything shifty. You 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 can't afford her. Okay, move along. Um. Oh yeah, we have to go here. Ooh, to the wards. How yes, you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. I really like her. She's 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 my favorite character so far. Um, okay, what do we have down here? The alleyway and the open markets and the med, the med clinic? Alleyway. No, hang on a second. That's not where we want to go. I want to go to the discotheque. How do I go through that? Do I have to go back up here or something? To lower markets? Transit? To CSEC Academy? To Flux? Oh, to lower wards. Okay, then we have to go here. No, wrong way. This way. Just gonna grab your ass on the way out. Jeez, this guy better be worth the effort. Like, we had to travel like a thousand miles to see him. That's her. Get close up and personal, I guess. Shields disabled. Those were sirens, man. Oh, we leveled up. No, damn. This is what I want to look for. So what is this? This renegade thing, I don't understand this. Is so oh okay. This is because I bitch slapped the guy in the face probably, and this is my this is good and evil. Okay, 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 I get it. Yeah. That's good, I like that. I'm gonna be a real supportive character. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Okay. Fine. You have to put your helmet on. Um. Sure. You're gonna be our cracker. 
yeah, she'll give us a little bit more on that whole barrier as well. And you go on full auto level. Restore a portion of your shields even while you're under fire. Yes, I like it. Recharges all talents, adrenaline boosts, so they can be used immediately. Oh, you're just going whack. I love it. You don't need to wear a helmet. You're okay. Caden, you need to wear a helmet. You have to go back up. <laughs> um, no, the bar is here. Is it not? Yeah, it's right here. Here. It's behind us. Again, job well done, Williams. Caden, you could improve. Definitely. <laughs> oh, how are you doing? I love it. That's my jam. Okay. Dance for me. <laughs> I love it. This is actually really well done. Why not? Always some... Sit forward. What is this? Okay. Fine, let's do it. Let's leave. Okay, that was weird. Well, there's a first time for everything. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. Oh, it's a strip club. Oh, first, I never have been in one. I don't know. <laughs> we don't have them in Ireland, I think. I have, actually have no clue. Humans, I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Is that Bebop and Rocksteady? Yeah. Yeah, let's not get caught in the middle. Hang on. Do we have to go in here? Is that... Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. I know. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. We'll see where this goes. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines look like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of seasick. <laughs> Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. Um, Walker takes a zombie. Yeah, this is the legendary edition. Yeah It's not just remastered there. I believe they, they updated the weapon system and all that how you change weapons There's some of the mechanics um, I believe the biggest changes are made in Mass Effect 2 and 3 because Mass Effect 1 is a bit more old code and very hard to upgrade But it looks really good You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> um, just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic. And it has 40 DLCs the included in the three games in total, I think. There. Dr. Michelle's office, she runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. 
No pay I'm for doing fine, thank you for asking. I'll the executor doing well. loves to put us lowly field agents it's in It's a horrible place. analogy, yes, yes it is. What's it like working for CSAC? You mean, what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Kill someone for having the wrong eye drug, color. Bus, note in, note the in the file. It's goddamn witch hunt. Oh yeah, witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C second like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. Let's piss him off a bit You more. need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. I'm curious. The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Oh, go on, Williams. Go, go absolutely ham on his ass. Goodbye. Williams is gonna hold him down. Club. I got him down now. Teabag him. <laughs> oh, Williams is loose cannon. I love her. Well, I don't think it's something you kind of advertise. Just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the cap. So we have to get to the medic bay. Which, um, hang on a second. This goes to the transit. This goes to the upper wards. It was in the upper wards, wasn't it? I think. So we have to go here. Oh, was Rex there? I didn't realize that. Yeah, I wanted to kind of know what the story is. I don't know why. It's just I really like the way they're doing the little side mission things. Like, I enjoyed it very much. Which, who's who's Rex? Oh, hello. Do you, do you know, like, your trousers are broken? I got business here, but not with you. Okay. Is that Rex? No, that's a paid run. General Septimus. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. So where's Rex? Oh. Yeah, I don't think he's here. Yeah, so uh, I thought it was Rex as well when I looked at it afterwards again, yeah. So we could go to the, to Fi oh, we can't go into Fist's office. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna have to go back and then go one level up and then we're gonna go to the ward, uh, to the medic. I think the medic ward is there. This store leads to the lower markets, continues through the upper markets and beyond to find the Presidium CZ Academy access. No, 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 we're okay. I think this is where we want to go, and then we. Uh, oh, crap. Let me see. What is that green thing on the map? Oh, it's an expat store. Yeah, we have to check that out. Anyway, so let me see. This is to Flux. This is to Presidium. Lower Markets. Transit. CSEC Academy. Yeah, there we go. Medic Clinic. I knew it was there. But I want to go in here. I want to check out this little store icon. Let me see what that is about. We already checked out your ass, yeah. Let's say, are we going... Hey! 
Huh? Do we miss a turn? There is no turn. Oh, damn it, there's a wall. Okay, we could have gone only through the other door. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's go. Tuli Free Store. And two and three really feel a lot smaller. Yeah, I find it a bit um, confusing at first, but once you start reading, because here I'm not used to not getting all the information displayed on screen where I have to go and arrows and all that. That's what, you know, I'm, I'm spoiled by World of Warcraft and all that. Yeah. But um, reading over these connections here, you know, is, is kind of okay. It's not too bad. Well, let's show us Den. And this is the med clinic. Yeah, I love this that you can interact with the arrows and everything. No, that's not where we want to go. I love it. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart what the hell? luck. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Oh, I love it. Nice shot, baby. That's the guy that was um, trying to help us. Or that also doesn't like Saren. Heads up! Right in the face, baby! Oh, sorry! I love it. My shield is bigger than yours. All clear. Why is that light highlighted? I can't do the touches on it. Williams, outstanding performance. Caden, were you even involved? I don't know. I didn't see you even shoot. <sighs> okay, let's talk. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle. <laughs> I love hurt. it. Sometimes you get lucky. The doctor is no, looking I'm at him. Okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Oh, I like your accent. Let's get to know each other. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. I love this Garrus guy, yeah. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? You have a helmet Fist on, you're not allowed to talk, him of making threats. We you're brought still in the Rex box. in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. The audacity Caden speaking without permission, that's just... Wow. Um, okay. Oh, is that our team? Examine squad. Ooh, look at that. 
Charlie Shepard, that's me. We got the awesome Ashley Williams. The ever so disappointing Caden. But see, Caden is really good with his tech stuff. He's really good with his tech stuff. So... So... I pick him and her. Can I pick him as well? Oh, I can only pick two. Okay. So does he have any tech? Oh, he has tech. Okay. And he doesn't have to wear a helmet. And he's he's allowed to speak on his own. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to sleep. I'm tired. Crimson Lord, thank you so much though for popping in. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Kane is so quite like a bullied kid. Absolutely, that's yes. yeah. <laughs> uh, taking care of the night be off soon getting sleepy myself yes oh uh, fate absolutely feel free to um, you know jump whenever you need to absolutely um, hang on there's like a, a box behind you I'm, I'm, I, I know that circle is like really right there but that's not what I'm looking at there is a yellow box or something is it down there oh there what is that oh we got a codex okay okay maybe we have to talk to her I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Oh, wow, nice. Oh, holy shit. You're pricey. Um, so we can sell stuff as well. Oh, that's good. So if we sell things... Let me see. Sniper rifle. That's how much money we have. And let's sell our old sniper rifle, for example. Yeah. Um, sell. Oh, we can't? Oh, we double click it. That wasn't giving us a lot of money, did it? Eh, it's okay. So, what is all that glue gem stuff for then? So you can either disassemble that into glue stuff, or whatever it's called, or you can sell it. So, sell all the junk. What is junk? Okay, whatever junk was, I guess. We didn't get anything. We have no junk. Um, so... Buy back? Yeah, that was it. Is there no pro Oh, cost 24. There we go. I can see it now. I actually didn't even realize that. I didn't see that here at all. Okay. Yeah, well, so we're probably better off just, you know, armor upgrade. Wow, they're very expensive. Holy shit. So at some point, we must be making a lot of money. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this alone for now. But this is interesting. I like it. So, let's go to the C-Sec. I'm actually... I'm surprised I'm actually enjoying this so much. Like, because I'm not a big fan of these big games where you have to walk around a lot and do shit. But I really... I think it's the story, the way they tell it, and the way you get involved in the story that's kind of very appealing. I don't know how interesting it is to watch, to be honest. But um, it, I find it very... Um, don't kid yourself. It's never bigger than it looks. Don't believe him. He's a liar. Okay, we all say the same thing. It's never bigger than it looks. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go to C-Sank. Oh, she's believing it. She goes, really? Uh, it really brings me back a lot of memories. Um, it just blows four faces per second. It's really one of measurements. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How, how many four faces per second? Can we oh, hello. There's a butt to touch. Touch the butt. Touch the book butt. What are you? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's and a you're miracle the you survived. Guy. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. Where is it's your an neck? honor to meet you, Commander. What are you where, doing down yeah, here in the where, wards? Where, Anything your, I can help you with? The house? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right oh, thing I, to do, I, I, you know? Honestly, I'm actually enjoying Maybe the story. This is what blood. I mean. It's, it's really interesting. My grandfather interesting. was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. 
You get I, mean, I don't really pay cool much aliens, attention to the political like stuff, Hanna. which I probably should. Wild. Yeah, well, it's gets a lot just of something that never here. interested me, we even in movies law. like Star Wars. People, the whole even aliens appreciate that backstabbing and the the in the political side never never cared for that. Um, you get to meet all kinds of cool cool aliens. <laughs> oh, yeah, very good. I like it. Um, How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. Yeah, I, really I like saw the place down to in relax. the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. All right, let's see how we're doing here, okay? Um, hang on a second. Surprise! Oh, look at that, Williams. You get it. You getting a run for your money here? Look at that. Garrus is like, he's like as fast as you, Williams. I like it. Caden sucked. He invited me. No, I don't think Flux is the strip club. Um, Flux is a different club. Um, yeah, we can't go up and high with the maps, I think. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. Um, but um, Flux is a different one. Um, I did scan the spider. I already touched the spider butt. I, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I, I went. Uh, this is the first thing I did. This was a different one. I think it's the Codex. Yeah, Codex. Yeah, and 12 XP. A spider butt touched successfully. Hang on a second. Oh, I want to look through the lens. So I can oh, yeah, there we go. I want to get a real close-up look. He's... I don't know. You can say what you want. It's literally rubbing its pelvis against a piece of metal going like... Oh. <laughs> but hey, he's a keeper, so he's like doing something very educational. Sure. Today I documented how riveting it was to rub myself against a piece of metal. Everybody thinks I'm doing these really smart things, but I'm really just getting off. <laughs> a Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded I love these little the dig site, claiming as well. that great. artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Is there a TV somewhere, or is that just a voice in the... Okay. I thought there was a TV hanging up somewhere or something. Oh, hello. Welcome to CSEC. To talk to our friend here. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> I love this guy. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. The voice acting is really well done. Uh, I, I I really enjoy this. Oh no! Do I have to select him? I don't want to select him. I like Garrus, and I like uh, Ashley is not gonna leave my side. Simple as that. I mean, I'm assuming he's actually with us. He's like somewhere walking around with us, I guess. 
He's positively murderous, yeah. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? <laughs> I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, hey look at him. He's so cute. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Innocent it. Darth Vader. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me I, down I know, the he just wanted to bang. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorbin? That's the guy who asked us to scan the uh, keepers. Ah, he wanted to scan his bat. The keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Well, it's a very story-heavy game. Um, these are all side quests and everything. But um, so I really like this that it's connected, that it's not just random quests like, oh yeah, and this happened and that happened and there was this random person. That it's actually um, related to the guy that we got the scanner from. So because I thought he was innocent, but maybe he's doing some really nifty shit like, um, you know, like I don't know, enslaves them like in a sex basement or something. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat CSEC. <laughs> True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trusted to somebody else. Uh, we're gonna romance the shit out of every single person we can romance. I haven't figured out how it works yet, obviously. But, um, yeah, okay, so now... Ah, crap, I keep doing that. Ah, mm. stop it. So we have to go to the markets, which are, hang on. No, that's consortium, that's emporium. Hey, we went wrong. We actually have to, no, oh, that's the CSEC Academy. Yeah, we have to go down here. How did we end up here? Did we, did we leave the wrong, hang on a second. That's the wrong elevator. No, don't shoot the elevator. It Binary didn't do anything. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Wow. So if we head over to that side, we should be able to get back to the wards. So I think we took the wrong exit. I think it was this lift here, wasn't it? Yeah, the lower wards, we have to go all the way there. Yeah, that's where we came from, absolutely. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, Serviceman Bhatia, joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education um, Plan. After finishing ready for her the service, alien strippers. Bhatia planned we already to had, open a, a had one dance Instead, for us. Instead, she gave her life it was protecting weird. the colonists of Eden Prime. 
For more Profiles in Courage or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Keyword, Courage. Oh, so political. I love it. I like that you can sprint. You don't have infinite stamina. Like, she runs out of it. Oh, I did. Uh, max out charm. We're going to max out intimidate next. Absolutely. You have to go to the markets. I actually like the arrows. Like, they're really well done that you can... Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Uh, yeah? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption you and organized clothes. crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Mm, okay. I don't know if I want to be involved in this. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. You never talk to the press. I see, Commander. I apologize. Well, you should. And get some clothes. Cover yourself up. <laughs> um, what are we? Is this where we go to the market? Is this where the little piggy goes to the market? Yeah, I think so. Is that the wrong way? I thought we had to go to the market. Oh, we got another. Uh, uh, there he is. Really, that's a. Is that him? No. Where's the other guy? Is he not here? Um, scan the keepers. Yeah, we do that. Um. Talk to Chorban for him. The Salem will meet you in the lower markets, yeah. Is that really wow? It's you. Oh jeez, get over yourself. <laughs> there we go. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Chorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, My I'm nervous. Are we're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me everything. Yeah, baby. You boys can go. Oh, wow. He actually Looks has protection. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After he centuries goons, yeah. here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by, Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I don't know if I trust him. There's really... Ah, well, you know, we're gonna help him to recruit these aliens for a sex dungeon. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. Yeah, yeah, I The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I mean, he pays me. I'm ignorant. That's okay. 
<laughs> so, um, what do we have over here now? Um, blah, 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 market, citadel, rapid transport, open markets. Yeah, let's go back. Here's the, oh, here's the sex stand, actually. That's interesting. We should do that first. Let's go do the sex stand first. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am, are you seeing all these Looks red like dots? Fist knows we're coming. Okay. It's your time to shine, Rex. Why don't you go ahead and open the door? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Where is my sniper rifle? And what do we have here on us? We have shield boost. This is gonna get exciting. My weapon overheated. Wow. Actually, can you do your magic here? And then I'm gonna switch to my shotgun. No, actually, you know what? We upgraded our rifles, so let's. Um... And you can recharge all talents so they can be used immediately. No, let's do this. That does explode. Okay, I think we got everybody. Think we're good, Commander. Yeah, I think you did well. Well done, Caden. If you're watching, that's how you do it. This is how you do it, Caden. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's a good idea. God, I never <laughs> like Fist anyway. <laughs> I never liked him anyway. I bet you five I minutes earlier, Fist, you're the best. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, if there's an option to let them go, sure. But if they're being stuck up assets, then well. Oh, yes. I love this little game. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, pow. Pow. There we go. Oh, wow. A shot. I, I'm kind of really like the shotgun, but I know that we're not gonna get a lot of opportunity to go close combat outside of this, like you know, because we're gonna be in a lot in open areas as well, I guess. Why do I have to time to die? Wait! Don't kill me! I surrender. Where's the quarian? She's Guys. not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. I don't want to shoot him. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. She grabbed him by the, the nuts. Wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. Well, we're not gonna kill him. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Yeah, we don't have time. Uh, get to Quandra 1 before it's too late. Okay. This is gonna hurt. 
Take cover. Take cover. Okay, we're gonna have to use our special weapon here. This is where we have to go, the alley. Where's the alley? Shit, where's the alley? I don't know where the alley is. I hope time's stopping while I'm in this. Um, Sarans may have set a trap for her. You have to get to the alley before they kill her. I think we have to go. Is the time stopping? It's down. Yeah, it is. So I think we have to go to the upper markets, and the alley was at the upper markets. Because I remember looking at the alley when we ca on the way in earlier, on the very start. So I have a feeling it's gonna be in the upper markets. I, I think I remember right. So we have to go into here. Oh, crap. There we go, there we go. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh, I love her! Look at the ninja! Wow, okay, I'm gonna do shield, you're gonna do shield. No, you're gonna do... This is slowing down. Okay, do you know what? I'm a little busy. Oh. He just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? I love you? her Our outfit. It's great. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Yeah, I'm gonna get... Uh, that's right, yeah, Nathan. I, I'm gonna get one of every alien. My harem is gonna be huge. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. 
I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're what? quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer. I know the eyes are really conduit. weird. They're Any like so either totally means. dead the or they're like. The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Usual Mass Effect animation, yeah. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. I the love Reapers that you can see her face and her eyes behind the and mask. And then they vanished. And the At blinking least, of eyes. that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. That's actually really amazing. Like, uh, the, uh, the, usually they would just, like, you know, replace the head with the helmet head. You know, this is really good. No, it wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be the medical officer, would it? The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the, the council right selling away. The medic's selling you weapons, 100% What about her, her the Quarian? <laughs> no, Diana My Troy was Tommy. the other, the, the doctor that... You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. This is awesome. We already... We, oh, we have one more person. Oh, is she from the Council? She looks like the blue woman with the white lip from the Council. Um, oh, look at that. She's a tech as well. Garus, you're better, though. No, she's better. Oh, man. It's so hard to choose, though. But anyway, either way, we're going to have um, uh, Ashley with us, obviously. So, sure. Let's do it. I actually only realized now they're all female. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. I looked purely at the stats, I swear. I purely looked at the stats. Oh my god, now I'm so self-conscious of this. We need, we need a male person right now to be better in stats. <laughs> and my, I named my Charlie Shepard. That's Charlie's Angels. Oh my god, let's see. Are we ready? Williams, a bit slow there on the trigger. Look at that, who's the new girl again? Tally Soranya. Okay, I might have to replace you. I can't pronounce your name. Tally. Okay, Tally. Fair enough. Hang on a second. Let me just check this out here. Yeah, okay. 
No, I'm happy. <laughs> it will definitely be a destruction to the enemy team. Um, where do we leave? Oh yeah, here. We have to go back to the market actually. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Mm, no, I'm already on a mission. Oh, I don't know. You look like you're wearing sandals with blue socks. All right, Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. <laughs> I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. So, so sorry are these conversations loss, triggered Batia. because I had her Marley in my team? So if I wouldn't have picked her, that what conversation wouldn't you? have been triggered. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Sorry, Fate. I'm, I'm only making fun. Like, I'm not. Um, I'm actually purely looking at their stats, to be honest. Like, and from the stats, I just like that, you know, the combat and the, the tech. So, really happy with that. But um, we have to go back to the market, though, for a second. Um, was it in the CSEC Academy? No, it was in the CSEC Academy. I think we're actually right here. Financial District. Where's the CSEC Academy? CSEC Academy, there. I think the, the I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid. Williams is ready for action. She's mistake. cracking her neck. She's like, oh. Hopefully, all... having you with us fighting Saren will change hmm. people's minds. Getting ready for action, punching someone in the face. And Destiny Two girl over here. So, big guy, where is he? There he is. She looks like something out of Destiny 2, doesn't she? I didn't play Destiny 2, I just see images. Uh, she looks pretty much like one of those guys. I think. Oh crap, sorry dude. I didn't mean that was not intentional. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Wow. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Oh wow, look at that, we leveled up. This is totally cool. Like, we're actually getting enough for leveling up. That is awesome. Oh, I keep clicking the wrong button. Um, let's look at the squad. I have four points, which is awesome. So we're going to put three into intimidation. We're going to put one more into into armor. And now we can wear heavy armor, which is great. 
and we're gonna be a full-on mean machine we might even start going into pistols and shotguns if we can i don't know um williams i'm actually want you to go fully pimped out on the rifles um assault training increase melee no 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 no, no. this is shield boost this is first aid and then here we have heavy armor you have four points one two three four so we could get you to heavy armor as well okay how about we put two in here one in here and three in here excellent and now you can also use the sniper rifle which is pretty good and then what are you you're a ninja you're an absolute ninja oh yeah electronics uh okay let's um Oh, wow, how come she... Huh? I'm confused. For the other guys, electronics was a precursor to... to um, sorry, decryption was a precursor to electronics. But for her, it's not. She's a machinist? Aquarian machinist. So electronics is actually not to do with hacking, then, is it? Unlock dumpling, increase shield capacity. And then decryption leads to hacking. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So she's actually an awesome support class because you could literally get completely buffed by her. Yeah, and then unlock dampening. So we're going to do that. And advanced overload can use electronic skills on average objects and then we're gonna go oh decryption you know dampening I like that temperature disables enemy bio ticks and techs within a certain radius okay Yeah, that's awesome support stuff she's having there. Decryption, we need more decryption. We should have at least one person doing some decryption as well, though. So we should um, probably go up to here. And then um, go more electronics. Or oh, is dampening actually any good? Because I don't see how this is that amazing. Stuns most enemies for three seconds, but still. And build her like Galaxy Teacher best for her. Um, and then, oh, Query Mechanist. What is that? Increases tech resistance, increases shield capacity. Holy crap. Absolutely. And we might as well take, let's take the decryption point out or, mm, yeah, let's leave it like this. That's pretty awesome. So if we do this, she, okay, we can't see her right now. Yeah, but she must have some awesome su support skills. That is really, really cool. Let's save that actually. Yeah, she looks like a really good support unit to have. So we're going to swap out Williams, probably with other combat units if we ever want to change. But she definitely um, looks like she knows what she's doing. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction again. Um, what is the main mission now? What is the main mission now? Mission expose Saren. So return to the tower. So we have to go back to the tower. Um, which I think is this big elevator here brings us all the way back up, isn't it? To the Presidium and then from the Presidium we go to the tower. Yeah. We have a few more side missions we could do, In but I actually want to continue. News, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Um, I don't know. You can probably clear all the side missions at some point, but um, I kind of want to go to the tower and continue a little bit with the story now. Where's the towers, actually? Oh, yeah, it was the car, wasn't it? 
Oh, there we are. Talk with... Oh, that's the diplomat. Um, oh, no, we have to go all the way around there. We have to go up here. Should bus and return to the city? I return to Citadel Tower in the Presidium. Oh, the Citadel Tower is all the way at the end, isn't it? Or something. Citadel Rapid Transit. Is there Rapid Transit here? No. There, Rapid Transit is right there. Okay. Suppose fine we can do we can do this side mission in here, okay fair enough. Okay, we have to go in there. Yeah, I don't wanna do too many though, like because you could do them forever. There's so many side missions in here, it's could probably spend like another five hours doing side missions and that's the wrong room i can't tell the aliens from the animals wow that's that's a very strong statement there my goodness you're commander shepherd your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps is there something i can do to assist you yes a man named samesh batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body Ah, Mr. Batia. Yeah, I know, but if the a game is already very long, all the side missions at the top of it would make it even longer. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Batia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Narali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Yeah, Respectfully, can't make that decision, Serviceman like... Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. There you go. Boom, shakalaka, right in the face. I think I'm wrong. <laughs> There's a codex though. Oh, okay. Random laptop. Oh, shit. <laughs> Diplomat advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted from a fellow bionic. You have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eater Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Do not bring clothes, stay naked forever. Hail the leader. Hail the leader, Bean. Hail the leader, Bean. <laughs> oh, I amuse myself. Are we going in the wrong direction again? Oh, there we go. We're actually doing it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Oh, I got a, a thing called Soldier home. Ally. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. For that. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh, I don't know if this helps, but your wife, Nirali, loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and 
She played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. How do you know? Sleeps. But thank you. What were you doing nice every night when she was trying to sleep? Before we went to sleep. I mean, before she went to sleep. <laughs> Alright, okay. We're gonna have to do some missions now. We're gonna have to go to the towers. Let's go. Let's go to the towers. I don't know why I keep taking my gun out. I'm... Wow, okay. I want my gun to be gone. Thank you. Clear. There you go. She was giving her massages. <laughs> I was just like blowing everything up. It's like you have arrived at the... Oh, I already grabbed your ass, yeah. Okay, let's go. Where is it? It's there, the big citadel tower. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to I, the I really enjoy this so far. This is really good. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Oh, I really hope that she is the missing uh, person that we can hire in our group, because I think it was her alien type with the head tentacles. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari she looks pretty who awesome. have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered she looks like for she's their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. Exactly, right? We proved face. Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. Ah, the Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Should I tell them about the vision? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. And no, we can take her it's out it's too later. soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Exactly. Go on, make your wings flap, get excited. It's like Sauron, or whatever his name was, in the Discovery. Commander oh, Shepard. Saru said Step what his forward. name was. Oh, yes, they're making me one of the Wizard Council. That's exciting. Let's all get naked and dance in the rain. 
<laughs> exactly, Shadow, let me pull my gun. What is going on? A human? <clears throat> A human? It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank no. of fire. No, or they just Spectres tell you, you put me in. <laughs> symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse I bullied my way in, I'm honored. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down you, to you the You just make it more cabin exciting. And speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. This is awesome. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Oh, I bet you are. Checking me out. Spectre training talent unlocked. Whatever that means. I have no idea. I'm very excited. Oh, crap. See, you're always a little bit behind there. I uh, might have to replace you with, with some crazy person like, like Wix Wax Wax. Waxy Wix. I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, let me see. So... Oh, Spectre training, I love it. Can we still take points out of somewhere? Because I don't... No, we can't. Okay, okay. Oh, you can undo all your talent points. Oh, you can't. Okay, okay, okay. So we definitely have to get more into charm and intimidation. And then we go full on Spectre's training. I think we're good up here. I think I'm okay. Advanced shield boost, though. Yeah, we need... Oh, what is this? Master shield? Mm. Now, uh, we're gonna go assault rifle. I thought I already had sniper rifle unlocked. What the hell? I was using a sniper rifle. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, so, we're going to go assault rifle, intimidation charm, inspector training. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. And you guys, you just get the talent to watch me grow. Equipment. Okay, so let's see. Assault rifle. Is there anything better than what I have? Um, eh, damage per second, not as good. So, no, not really. Let's see, what is your weapon here? Um, this is an upgrade. Um, accuracy is a bit down. I think you should stay on this because of the accuracy. Um, because you're an automatic person and you are the same, but you will be using probably uh, the sniper rifle or something. So yeah, we're gonna have to kit you out. You're gonna probably go full on um, uh, assault rifle. So we're gonna have to keep assault rifle for you and me. Rex, is he a shotgun guy? Just got home from work, going to watch stream from the beginning. Just want to say I love your content. Keep up the good work, my man. Thank you so much, uh, Raladin the Paladin. Very much appreciated. Thank you. So my plan is to probably, if we can get the NPC versions of our uh, army or whatever to work well, um, I wouldn't mind having a close range one. Now, Rex looks like he's going to be a tank with shotgun combat and all that. So we might have a look at that. Um, all this down here, I don't fully understand yet. This is the money. What is this five out of five? Oh, medicates. I'm only allowed to have five out of five. And this is my grenades. I already blew one up earlier. Okay, that's bad. Um, we don't have any more mods. Oh, we do have actually mods. Let me see. What can I put in? Ammo upgrade, hammerhead rounds. 
Designed to shred flesh and other organic matter, these rounds are particularly effective against living targets. Popular with pirates, criminals, mercenaries, these rounds are coated with a high toxic compound. Hammerhead ammunition just called squash projectors designed to flatten on impact, increasing the amount of physical force transferred to the target. Improved sighting. Specialized caliber sights can increase weapon accuracy. No, no, no. I like this. I like this. I said, instead of projectiles, upgraded weapon release charged particles balls that can bypass kinetic barriers, shields. However, the actual damage done to the target is typically less. I like those chemical things. I mean, that's pretty cool, but maybe we just should go with that. Organic, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, Rex is your shotgun guy. Yeah, we're gonna have to try that out. Yeah, shield, shield bypass sounds fun, but I'm a bit worried that if I do that, all my bullets will do less damage. Minus 30% damage is quite heavy. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that yet. It's it's a bit heavy, all right. Yeah. Okay. Let's save. New save. Save game. Thank you. And I'm gonna have to leave it here. So yeah, that's three and a half hours. This is actually not bad. I mean, I hope that there's interest that we're gonna can do this maybe once a week, um, and play like three four hours just for fun. I mean, we might never finish it. You know, we might. You know who knows yeah but i really really enjoy the the story part of it and it's it's good i like it the voice acting is really great and even the little tidbits when you're in the elevator and all that tidbits <laughs> i'm sorry oh grow up um you guys are awesome you know i, re I really think it's a well done game yeah, we're three hours in, like three and a half hours in, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to leave the stream here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys are watching it as a VOD afterwards on YouTube, um, I hope you can make the next stream, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming. And for you guys on the stream, thank you so much again for being here. Faith, thank you very much for, for modding tonight. Very much appreciated. We had a little bit of rowdiness, but you sorted it out very quickly. Thank you so much. And thanks again for um, the support. And if there was any new members, thank you so much. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night and stay safe. Bye-bye.